Okay, so here we're Claire Cullinan from Dead Options. Okay. And can you tell me uh, how you got involved in all of this, if, if you like it? Okay. Um, about three or four years ago, I had a bit of an awakening myself, started to connect with different groups, did uh, a law course at night, ran for general election um, under the People's Convention so that the people could have a voice. Not that I ever wanted to be voted in, because that was never my decision. But during election time is the only time that all of the different candidates have to be given equal time. So I saw it as an opportunity to speak on behalf of real people of Ireland. So um, I was never slow to speak. So I thought, right, we'll take this. It gives me an opportunity to debate. It gives me an opportunity to present an alternative viewpoint to the political structure that was there. And ultimately, um, to the government that was actually there, which is only a puppet government. I mean, okay. it sorted us out long and long ago. Okay, and uh, can you tell me what uh, what do you think is stopping people from becoming aware of what's going on? Or fear. Why? There is only one word, and that is fear, because it's pounded into them on radio, on television, on newspapers. That if you play the good boy, if you keep paying your mortgage, if you keep paying the money, we won't come down as hard on you as what we will on those radicals. I mean, we were going through the High Court one day, and one barrister said to the other, "Who are they?" And I listened, and they said, "They're the protesters." We've never protested in the High Court. We don't need to protest, right? What we're doing is we're using the system legally, lawfully, and respectfully. I protest against nothing, but I will stand up for myself, and I'll bring as many people as I possibly can to stand in their own power in every sense of the word. So the the, the, the whole structure needs that people stand up. The media keeps us down. It keeps us the opposite way. It's like, uh, I have a friend, Barry Fitzgerald, who's amazing in Awake in Ireland, and what he talks about is the field. And it's like the field, we're all in the field, but the field is surrounded with all these people on megaphones. And these megaphones are bounding at you all of the time. That's the media, right? That's the government, that's the media. They're bounding at you, telling you, you have no hope, this is the only hope, this is the only way, this is all you can do, this is where you're limited, this is a law, and it's not a law. Yeah. It needs you to ratify it. But anything that's, that's not rebutted in law stands as truth. Okay. So if you don't stand up against something, then it stands as truth, right? And, and all these megaphones are going all of the time, right? And then you have a couple of us who are like lone voices in the middle of the field saying, no lads, that's not the way. This is actually the way. It's a completely different way. This is all an illusion. Do you know? Um, what's the film about the guy who was living in a world and uh, it was all being controlled and he didn't Oh, realize. The Truman Show. The Truman yeah. Show. So it's a bit like The Truman Show. Okay. It's all being fed. And you know when Truman started to wake up and he started to see things, yeah. right? It's a small bit like that. When people are in fear, there's called fight flight. Fight flight means that you don't use your frontal brain. Mm. You only use your primitive brain. And primitive brain is about ducking and diving, right? So when you're in fear, you can only duck and dive. Yeah. So that's a blissful place for a government or whatever to hold you in because you can't think. You can't think clearly, yeah. right? You can't um, work out the future. You can't make decisions it's completely out of your power. You're constantly ducking and diving. Okay. So that's what the fear consciousness has actually done. Okay. It's made people duck and dive rather than take their life into their own hands, take control for anti-depression. There are the three C's mm. and the three C's are um, commitment, challenge and control. Okay. If you don't have control of your own life, mm. right, you, you fall into depression. If you don't, if you're not committed to something positive, you fall into depression. And the third one was challenge. If you're not being challenged in some way, you fall into depression. Mm. Now, fear takes all those three out. Yeah. You're out of control. You have no more control in your own life. You have no challenge left in your own life. You just lie down and do what, what you're told and you're committed to nothing. Okay. What we've done is the complete opposite. All the anti establishment groups, giving people something positive to connect with. Okay. Um, do you think the Ireland 2016 documentary has helped at all or not? I or? think it's hugely helped. Absolutely. Um, in several ways, right? Um, I loved the first one. I loved the history and all the rest of it because it gives us a grounding. And it's like everything. I work in complementary medicine and therapy, right? So everything is about grounding. Everything is about you have to anchor it first. And I think, I think that anchored it very, very 
very well. And since then, it's showing people all of the activity, all of those healthy living cells that are out there, that are pounding, 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 and growing all of the time. And I think that gives people huge hope. And I think the visual is the way forward. People aren't reading it anymore. The television will never hold it. So the visual of all this positivity actually happening and this action happening is helping other people to engage and it's captivating them. Our, our attention span has become so little that YouTube is about as much as we can concentrate at any one time but it's making a huge difference. It's turning on the hope and hope is the answer to all of this. There's a huge hope for the future. I was just wondering if you could tell me uh, what we're doing here today or what's happening today. Okay, well today is Bally Hay says no as a man called Dermot O'Flynn from uh, Charleville who originally started Bally Hay says no to the bondholders. Then he went off over uh, to Europe and brought a small group with him to challenge it over there. And then every solitary week he did a Bally Hay says no march in Charleville and in Bally Hay, right? They had their 100 march recently. We've connected with them quite a lot over the, the last year or two. The groups all over the Ireland, all over Ireland have now started. Cove says no, Sonso says no, Donegal says no. And these groups march every weekend. Now it might sound like something very simple, but what's actually happened is it's created a body again. It's created a group of people. So that tomorrow we're supposed to be celebrating the March for St. Patrick's Day, right? The real March for Ireland happens today because it's Ireland says no, right? Where the real Irish people will march on the doll with Dear Middle Flynn and the Bally Hay says no group. The group who started all of this. Um, all of Ireland coming together, all of the anti-austerity groups coming together and saying Ireland says no to poverty, to austerity, to gambling, to the bondholders, to the bankers, to our Irish government who have sold us out, right, to suicide, to ill health, to everything that has been presented to us as the illusion of what life is. What we actually say yes to is what we were given, which is the gift of life, to be enjoyed, to be cherished, to interact with other people and to have a positive experience here. So today is vital. It is it is the arch of uh, it is the march of the Irish people. Okay, thanks very much, Claire. Much appreciated. You're welcome.